Today, we are going to cover uh, the volume ratio between similar objects. And I have sketched out a rectangular prism and a scale factor of three, another rectangular prism. So a scale factor of three, if this is x and y and z, we'll just use the variables. Scale factor of three, this one would have to be three z, this would be three x, and this would be three y. Uh, one thing I'd like you to notice is if the scale factor is three, the side ratio from the small to the big would be, let's just pick a side, right? A uh, side of x. And this one would be 3x. So the side ratio would actually be 1 to 3. Okay? The scale factor is 3, so we're growing big. So the side ratio is small to big, 1 to 3. No problem there. And from the last video, if we were doing area ratio, the uh, conjecture said that that would be the 1 to 3 squared, then the area ratio should be 1 to 9. And that would be true because that's x times y, and this would be 3x times 3y, it would be 9y, okay? So today we're going to talk about volume, and you might already kind of get, have an idea of where we're going. Uh, the one on, I'm going to change colors. This one, the volume of this shape would be equal to x times y times z. The volume of this one would equal 3x times 3y times 3z. And that's 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27 xyz. And if we compared volume ratio, small to big, it would be xyz compared to 27 xyz. Simplifying, that just simply compares to 1 to 27. All right. All right, hold on. If you think so, the side ratio is 1 to 3. The uh, volume ratio is 1 to 27. All right. Well, let's make it a little bit more challenging. I have two cylinders with a scale factor of 5 fourths. Uh, quickly, uh, what is the side ratio? What do you think? Is it 5 to 4? Actually, so if this if this has a radius of r and a height of h, this one's going to have a radius of five fourths r and a height of five fourths h. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the side ratio? Uh, so we can choose to let's do r to five fourths r. And of course, you will not leave it like that. That's just awful. Fraction inside a fraction. Things uh, also can be simplified. Uh, and nor would you leave it as simplifying the R's as 1, 2, 5 fourths. That also, I'm going to get upset with you. Simplify it, simplify it, simplify it. So that's 1 divided by 5 fourths, or 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of 5 fourths, which that simplifies to four to five. That is my side ratio. If my scale factor is five fourths, my side ratio or radius ratio, height ratio is four to five because I'm looking at small to big because I am going to grow by one and a fourth, right? All right. Uh, volume, volume, volume. The volume of this one, okay, well, that's just a formula, right? Pi r squared multiplied by h. The volume of this one, the big one, is going to be 4, four excuse me, 5 fourths r squared, make sure you get squared, times pi multiplied times 5 fourths of h. Okay, so we don't lose our algebra. We square the 5 and square the 4, giving me 25 sixteenths r squared times pi, 5 
four h. And then 25 times five is 125. 16 times four is 64. And then there's an r squared by and an h. And then if we compare this one from our original to this one here, you will see that all the pi's would cancel, the r squared would cancel, the h would cancel, leaving me with, if I'm writing the volume ratio, of 1 to 125 over 64. But like the other one, basically that's 1 divided by 125 over 64, multiplied with the same thing as multiplied by the reciprocal, which so the volume ratio is 64 to 125. And yes, you have noticed a pattern. If the side ratio is 4 fifths, the volume ratio must be 64 1 25th. And there is indeed a pattern to that because, of course, that 64, that can be rewritten as that's 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4. 1 25 is nothing more than 5 cubed. So what you thought was true indeed is true. That the proportional volume conjecture states that if corresponding edge lengths or radii of two similar solids compare in the ratio of m to n, then their volumes will compare in the ratio of m cubed to n cubed. All right, so I have made a, uh, an example for us. We have a triangular prism with a volume of 80 cubic centimeters, a scale factor of two thirds, and I'm asking for the volume of the smaller. Well, and I did not tell you any of the side lengths of the um, rectangular, uh, excuse me, the triangular prism. So, uh, if it, so for instance, if this is nine and two thirds of nine would be six. So we could think that, well, the side ratio would be nothing more than nine to six otherwise known as three halves. What do you know? The volume ratio would have to be, using our conjecture, would be three cubed compared to two cubed. So the volume ratio is 27, two, two times two times two, eight. So now I know my volume ratio is 27 to 8. And it, and it makes sense that if I'm multiplying by 2 thirds, I'm going small. So that's that's big to small. Yes, big to small. All right. Then all I need to do is set up a proportion where 80 is to, I don't know. So we can just put a V in there, uh, is equal to 27 compared to eight. Then reciprocalize both sides of volume over 80 is equal to eight over 27. Of course, I could, have written, I could have written it that way the first. Multiply both sides by 80. Then I can, at this point, and only at this point, do I start even thinking about getting my calculator out. So, See if you can see. Uh, we got. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make it because I always preach to use this. Uh, eight to twenty-seven multiplied by eighty, and it gives me a nice fractional answer: six hundred forty over three seven. And of course, you could have done that, but if it would have reduced, it would have simplified it for you. Yes. And if I really wanted a, a, a decimal approximation, you know, you, you probably, I think we can enter on that. No, it, oh, what is that? Uh, I have to do 640 divided by 27. I get a decimal approximation with 23.7. Okay.
points of, and then I would definitely mark that as oops, 23.70 as an approximation. All right, exact answer, approximate answer, nearest hundred, and we are in centimeters cubed. All right, so today's nice short lesson. And here's your problems for today. Uh, if the scale factor from A to B is three-fourths, then the volume of A to the volume of B will be blank. The side ratio is two-fifths. The volume ratio must be what? If the side ratio, of course, we're talking about similar objects. And then number three, I have a sphere with a radius of four. Find the volume of the sphere half the size. And please give me an exact answer. All right. We will see you tomorrow.